So here's something interesting that you might see in this Richard versus Shane trading challenge. And you'll notice that Richard's returns or his equity is a lot smoother generally, whereas I tend to have a little bit bigger drawdowns. And why is that? Well, for this challenge, I decided that I was going to trade a little bit more positionally, a little bit more one strategy all the time, but it won't be one strategy at a time. And I'm not going to hedge as much as I normally would in one of my larger accounts. And the reason why is because it's a smaller account and we only have 90 days. So if I sell some calls, for example, or a call spread and the price goes up, I'm going to see my equity drop. Now, for me, that's normal. I'm perfectly fine with that. My equity goes up and down every day. Nothing matters to me until I take that position off. I realize that the price of the underlying is going to fluctuate. My equity is going to go up and it's going to go down. It does not bother me at all. I know for some new traders, it really stresses them out seeing your equity go up and down. But, you know, it's, it's you've got one position on. If the underlying isn't going your way, it doesn't mean you're in danger. It doesn't mean you're not you're going to lose on that position. Just that particular day or that particular week, your equity might be down because the price isn't doing what you're hoping it's going to be doing. But remember, everything is going to get to zero. As time goes on, if I, if I sell an option three weeks out, in three weeks, that option is going to have zero intrinsic value if it expires out of the money. So in the meantime, leading up to that, I don't really care as long as it doesn't breach my short strike price. So that's just a little bit of um, uh, the reasoning and philosophy behind what I'm doing and why you'll see my, ex uh, my equity fluctuate a little bit more than Richard's does.